back to my channel. I trust you are all doing amazing. Um, so as you guys can tell, I am getting ready. I am about to leave the house. I have a few things to do, like shipping uh, products, going to see my friend. I have to get my nails done. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you know what? I am getting my nails done first. What's well, pretty much like the same. My friend, my friend, literally, her business is literally downstairs of the nail shop. So I think I'm just gonna say hi to her first, and then just go upstairs to get my nails done. And then right after that, I will go back downstairs to have lunch with her because we got a few things to talk about regarding business. And then um, after that, I'm gonna go hike. I want to end my day with a hike today. I haven't hiked in maybe two weeks, so I feel weird, okay? I feel so weird hiking. If you know me, I mean, if you know me, you know me. I mean, if you've been following me on YouTube, I'm, I'm, blah, Instagram, you know, your girl at least used to hike twice a week, so. But because of the funny weather we've been having, I haven't been able to hike because it would be cold, y'all, like, anyway. So, I ran ahead and did pretty much everything. Um, I did my foundation already, I did my concealer, bronzed, uh, my face. So, I always use a stilato bronzer, bronze goddess. This is my favorite bronzer, y'all. It's a little bit too dark, but it works really well with our skin tone. It's number four. Um, uh, if you are looking to really just like contour your face really well, that is a really good... Um, and then under my eye for concealer to set my concealer, I always use my translucent powder by Estela, I mean Laura Mercier in the for the eyebrows obviously. Of course, I am going to use Pearl Cosmetics. Um, this is the brow pencil that I like to use all the time. It is soft coffee. That's my shade. If you are light skin, if we have the similar skin tone. This will work for you. Um, and then I obviously use my brush, guys. Okay, don't judge me. This is the brush I used to um, bronze my face. And then um, always use a blender, beauty blender, to uh, blend my face with my foundation. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna do my eye, my eye makeup right now. I'm gonna do a simple eye makeup look just because um, today is just a busy day. You know, it's very, I'm gonna be very active today. Uh, so I don't wanna, I'm not doing anything glamorous. I'm just gonna do clean, simple makeup girl, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a simple look. Ooh, and I am using my palette, obviously, for cosmetics. Color grounded, confident. Actually, right under my eyebrows, I will use. I always, always use lively, the light color. And then for my crease, I always mix grounded and confident. Um, and then maybe to spice things up a little bit, I might end up using a cheever just to bring a little bit of you know smokiness. Um, and those are the four colors I'll be using today guys a very simple very very simple and then my lips I'll probably just go in with um, I'll use Because we're wearing black, okay, we need some color so oh, You know what? I'm just gonna use the clear gloss. Yeah, I'm just gonna do simple so the clear gloss is diamond and then um, to set my entire face I am going to use Fenty powder in uh, shade 350. So guys, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm using, this is a dual brush that I'm using. I can't even see the number. I don't know, the, the number faded. Um, so this is what I use under my eyebrows. I'm going to use Pro Cosmetics blending brush. Um, the blending brush is always gonna look like this, fluffy, 
So I'm gonna take color grounded and color confident. So if you hear some noise, let me, you know what, let me close the door. It's a little loud outside. And I don't want that loud. So you see how I just mix these two colors and it gives you a really beautiful color. Just like a really beautiful kind of um, brown, orange. And now I am going to do the same thing on the lid. So I'm putting the same color all over my eyelid. to answer a Q&A that I recently um, so I did a, a, a Q&A last month and I never got to I never got a chance to film and answer but you know what I'm gonna answer one of the questions in this video so a person was asking uh, how to forgive you know your siblings or your parents who hurt you I was like wait a minute that's a really good question because it's not always easy to forgive um you know but and especially when it comes to people who are that close to you because people who are that close to you, your parents and your siblings they are your first i mean they're your family your first friends your uh the people who are supposed to have your back so when people like that betray you oh man it's not that easy to you know forgive and get over it um so as a person myself who's been through so much, <laughs> mm, thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Um, I've been burned guys and I just made a decision, a choice to no matter what I, you know, what I went through or no matter what bad experience I, I, I've been through or whatever bad experience I'm going to experience in my life, they're going to motivate me. It's going, I'm going to use it as a motivation to continue to be a better person. Now, I'm not a perfect person. I am sure I've also disappointed others uh, or do disappoint others. Uh, and if you happen to be one of them that's watching, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. But yeah, my point of view, I mean, just how I view things in life is, you know, we all, all of us human beings, we have the same needs and wants, to be honest. Like, that's why we should always, we should be good to each other, like, and not hurt each other. Uh, so, to me, the reason why these days, especially after I got saved, I forgive immediately. Now, my forgiveness doesn't mean, like, we cool, we are buddies again. Um, I'll probably sometimes, I'll forgive some people, especially depending on whatever, what happens between us, I'll forgive them and just keep a distance, or oh, I'll forgive you and let you back in, in my life. However, if it's something like a betrayal, you've betrayed my trust, then it's a no-no. I'm gonna I'm, I'm forgive you and love you from a distance. Uh, but also I like to see things from a Christ perspective. Do you know how many times we mess up and God is still so merciful and we can st and he still opens his arms to for us to run back to him and to be back in you know in good standing with him. So I always like to think about the story of Joseph who was betrayed by his brothers, you know? And I mean someone who like if Joseph was able to forgive his siblings, like then who are we not to forgive? You know what I'm saying? And it's the same with Jesus, like it's the same with God. If God is able to forgive us, who are we not to forgive? And also, when we forgive, it's good for our spirit, it's good for our mind, it's good for our, like, everything. Because forgiveness is actually really good, is beneficial for, to you than the person that you're forgiving. For, forgiving blesses you more than it forgives the person who offended you. Um, so yeah, there's no need to hold grudges, there's no need to hold the bitterness and anger i remember there was a there was a time that you know the holy spirit instructed me to forgive somebody 
and this person had done me wrong y'all like this person broke my trust to another level it was supposed it was a person who was supposed to be um like a guardian a protector for me uh i look up to and the holy spirit was like yeah if you're gonna walk with me you need to forgive this person it was a battle it was a battle it was a battle it was a battle but when I forget that person I literally felt something leaving me like my shoulders immediately I became light I literally felt like another human being like a spirit left me um, I don't know exactly what spirit left me but I literally felt a presence like a person something left me from the back I was sitting alone um, uh, and it was in April uh, of 2019 I was sitting alone in uh, my friend's house uh, I had just moved to LA and I sh guys let me tell you after that too I literally became a different like I changed my I, I became more lighter more happier my I lost weight like I started losing weight I feel like that unforgiveness I was carrying was like some it was the weight that I was I was literally carrying the weight all around me so yeah, forgive. It doesn't matter. Your parents, your siblings, your your ex, your your partner, your friends, who, no, like anybody. Forgive, 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 and move on. And ask God to give you the wisdom to now show you what you should do uh, after you forgive. Because I truly believe that not every person you forgive. Is, is supposed to also stay in your life some people are we're supposed to forgive them and just you know let them because we have to remember too like yes we look up to Christ as Christians right but we don't have um, the ability to like we're not I don't I don't I don't know the best way to say it but we're not God you know we're not God God is able to God is great God is mighty God is big there's some things that God sees that we can't see right all right, so this is actually my friend's track. I uh, just got here at her shop. So she has the yogurt and coffee shop, Cantaloupe. Uh, so the track is just uh, Ethiopian food. That's where she has her kitchen. She cooks everything in the kitchen, in the truck. Yeah, so it's a food truck, but she serves everything inside um, and outside. She has like a seating area inside and outside. Look how gorgeous she is. And obviously, like, of course, this is me <laughs> being silly, like always. <laughs> um, she was teasing me. She was like, why are you holding a homeless bag? I said, you know what, girl? I don't know. Um, I just actually I had uh, products, some stuff in the bag. And I always have it on Mondays because I always do groceries. So I take it to the groceries with me because I don't see the need of getting bags all the time when I have this amazing big bag for just my groceries, just one person. Um, so it's just us here having a conversation. She's so sweet. She's so strong and smart. Um, yeah, like one day maybe me and her will have a conversation. I will invite her and, and interview her. She can tell you guys her life story. It is super, super inspiring. Um, even the way, like how hard she works every single day. And she's a single mother. Listen, I have so much love and respect and um, I always support her. So anyway, here I am having my sambusas. Yes, I, I always like every time I come here, I got to have sambusas. And this time I had two. I usually get one because one is enough for me <laughs> but today i felt a little hungry it was the my first meal of the day um so yeah she gave me a lento uh lento samosa and it's so delicious oh my god and this red sauce it's uh red um it's an ethiopian kind of sauce i don't know how how it's called i'll probably ask her but that sauce with the sambusas is Mwah, it's amazing it's delicious um and yeah and that's just me eating y'all i love food i won't lie <laughs> i probably don't eat enough but what i do eat i eat <laughs> and i need some energy too before i go hike um so yeah um here and there we go again um so to make myself feel better i had to get a green juice <laughs> 
she's teasing me uh she's drinking coffee and i'm drinking the green juice it's like apple spinach ginger celery avocado uh and there's some other green stuff but it was so delicious and coconut water so this is actually really good for your skin and hair because the omegas that uh the omega they, there's like omega-3 something like that um and yeah this is supposed to be good for your skin and hair um like one of our friends made it and you're gonna see him i actually met him through her uh he's a good friend he helps her uh he comes in and you know every once in a while actually most of the time to help her uh because she is right now literally it's just three of them her and the cook uh the she guides you know pretty much like she cooks everything but she has to guide she gets anyway it's a long 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 story i'll let her tell tell her story <laughs> um yeah so that's um the guy and which i mean we're doing cheers because he's having the same drink i'm teasing him i'm telling him to come in the video so let me tell you what happened so this whole time i i literally thought the 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 mic was on so that's why you see us talking but there's no sound like you know it, my words what i'm saying right now doesn't match what <laughs> i wish you could have just i wish you guys could have you know could hear our conversation because it was hilarious we were teasing each other you see i'm like dragging him in the camera <laughs> he's like no my hair is not nice i'm like come on who cares about your hair just come um so yeah so again the same thing happened here this whole time i thought the mic was on and it was not so excuse me guys i hope you don't mind the voice over yeah so i pretty much like get my my nails done here all the time i've been coming to tracy uh to this nail place for like three years um yeah like she's amazing and i don't see why i should change her they always do my toes and my fingers like they, my nails always look pretty every time i come here um so there was like obviously because I, i'm walking around all the time um they make sure like you know my nails are like taken care of and i always do gel i'm sorry guys i do gels i do gel on my toes and on my fingers because i just do not want to go to the nail place like every other week like i my nails usually last me a month for like at least three to one month okay three weeks to one month and it always look good and gel doesn't lose the shine it always look clean it always look you know you always look nice uh, so oh that's tracy this is tracy that you guys see with glasses she's amazing she is amazing me and this woman get along so well <laughs> and we're just like loyal to each other if i'm there if i if i'm coming i just let her know and she just moves the schedule around um yeah we click we click we talk uh, she gives me some good advice too when it comes to certain things. <laughs> You'd be surprised, y'all. Let me tell you, you can learn from anybody. Okay, the moment you feel like you, you know, nobody can teach you anything, I think it's it's a dangerous place to be. You know, even the most insane person, you can learn how not to be insane from them. You know. <laughs> so anyway, that's just how I live my life. Um, yeah, I believe in taking care of yourself. Like I take care of myself spiritually emotionally mentally physically intellectually relationally like i i am a believer like i am an ambassador of holistic wellness i genuinely believe that you know your inner should reflect your outer like and you should work on your inner as much as you work on your outer like they should be you know it's a yin and yang there's, there's no way you should neglect you know just do the inner work you know take care of the like you know your inner work and all of that and then just forget about your outer like oh you focus on the outer looking good but your spirit is like you know no it's all about balance taking care of yourself holistically uh, i believe in that so 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 much yeah that's what i'm i'm all about that Oh, by the way, can you guys see my birthmark on my neck? 
that's like you know my favorite i love my birthmark y'all <laughs> it's crazy anyway look at my nails look at my nails don't they look amazing don't they look beautiful i always get an almond shape y'all this is what looks good on my fingers because i have you know not so like not not super short fingers and not super tall like they're like yeah my my fingers are just right there <laughs> so this is the best um nail shape when it comes to short shorter fingers and also just for a feminine look softer look uh the squares and the coffin all of that mm, i don't I, I don't like it i used to but it, i realized it wasn't the best for my fingers for my hands and check out my toes y'all they did a great job so toe, on my toes yes it's always gonna be square <laughs> but when it comes to my hands it's only um it's always gonna be almond uh just because it's just the best it looks best on my fingers yeah anyway guys um thank you for watching i am going to now go on the hike i am excited for the hike uh it is gonna be fun um you guys look at the whole city guys that's downtown la and these are the hollywood hills the Hollywood Hills homes. <sighs> Still have a long way to go, but I'm halfway though. I usually take that, but because it's too late, I decided not to take the, the west side because that's the hardest one. That right there will kill you, okay? And with me being out of shape, Ooh. look at how beautiful that is. If you don't believe in God, honestly, I don't know. I don't know who else could have created this. Look at that beautiful sunset. Yeah. Hollywood Hills homes, y'all. So I'm about to show you guys where I usually sit every time I come here on the hike. So I sit here, I pray, and right now actually it's funny because God is telling me to sit on that rock and hug it. I don't know why, but I'm about to do it because I signed up. I signed up to be obedient. Even when I don't understand it, I'm just gonna be obedient, period. Okay, let me try to and show you. Huh. Now that's the rock I'm about to sit on. And as I sit on this rock, I'm going to pray. I'm going to sit still. And I'm definitely going to hug this rock. <laughs> obedience, obedience, guys, obedience. And look at the view, by the way, when I'm sitting here. Look how beautiful this is. You literally can see the entire city, the mountains. So I made it back home. I am about to take a shower, 
yes, it's always good to take a shower after a workout or a hike. Just by the end of the day, every woman should take two showers. One shower in the morning when you wake up and another shower before you go to bed. It's just how it's supposed to be, okay? Ladies, <laughs> one shower a day for women is not enough. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put my hair up. But I will shout out to my girl, Ada. She really hooked this hair up. Like, she hooked me up. Look at this hair. Ooh, honey. Mm mm mm. My girl, Ada, Ada, Ada. Have you seen my beautiful lady? Ada. But every time I'm around her, I'm always singing this song. She's probably tired of me. <laughs> She's sick of me right now. But yeah, her name always reminds me of this song. And she's also very beautiful. Oh my god, uh, that is gorgeous. Anyway, so yeah, I'm putting my hair out because I'm about to take a shower. And I'm about to show you guys a little bit of uh, uh, pretty much like my nighttime skincare routine. Um, what I've been using for the past few months. Um, so obviously, I will be using the Dior Cleanser. Uh, this is uh, Dior Snow. This one is good for even skin tone, brightening, cleaning. Uh, for my ladies, listen, you, this is not going to brighten your skin like bleaching. We don't bleach here. Uh -uh -uh. We don't bleach our skin here. Mm -mm. So what it does, this is going to just help you with, if you have any discoloration on your face, or sometimes you know how like, we are always out in the sun and you know or let's say you have uh something like a scar it's gonna help you you know just give you that healthy even skin tone looking that even you know that even skin and then i will go in with the toner by the way loki dior is known for beauty i mean for handbags shoes and clothing but they got really good skincare products and they are not for their makeup obviously but their skincare that is a hidden secret most people don't know about your skincare but your skincare is out of this world it's great it's amazing the same effort they put into their products handbags the same high quality that's in the handbags shoes and clothing it is the same high quality that they, they, that's in their skincare um, products as well so after i clean i cleanse and tone hmm, let me introduce you to something uh, this is a skincare brand you probably never heard of it's called retrouvé um it's owned by this uh family in malibu and it's just a vegan skincare it's all vegan it's clean uh, so they asked me what i wanted to try from their skin brand i mean from their skincare I said, you know what, I would love to try the pads because I pretty much have tried so many products and this is something that I haven't seen any other brand uh, have. I mean, I haven't seen this. At least this is unique. Retrouvé is the only one that has um, the priming pads. So what they're going to do is they're going to exfoliate. It's like an extra cleanse, exfoliate and tone. It's like a prep for your skincare, your serum and your... Uh, your cream to penetrate even better so yeah I'll, I'll use this after I wash my face um, and then there is going to be these are my final ones these two so the serum yes I know it's small but some small but mighty you just need to use a little bit so when you open it just one dose is enough so this is the serum again it's going to help you with even skin tone um for my ladies who have discoloration this is really good for you because it helps you with just giving you even clean glowy skin uh and then i will use the dior snow uh cream it looks so good and they smell good jesus let me tell you mm. oh my god it's like this beautiful rose smell mm, mm, mm. it smells so good y'all mm, mm, mm. and you know i love to smell good I love to smell good. That's one thing about me. So yeah, those are the products that I'm gonna use on my face. And then when it comes to my body, like what I use on my body, everybody be thinking I use some extravagant stuff. Like, yo, let me tell you, I use Jergens. 
I go in between, like I switch from Avino or Jergens. But so far, I've been loving Jergens. I used to use Avino a lot. And then for some reason, I don't know, I just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. when my cousin visited um, last summer, I just decided, I was like, you know what, I got some uh, Jergens and then we, that's what we were using. And I was like, wait, red minute, this lotion is actually dope. So shout out to Jergens. They make really good body creams. Um, so this one, it repairs heals extra dry skin. I don't have extra dry skin, but honey, you know, any extra smoothness it won't hurt, okay? So if you're like me, and you like to be a little, you know, extra, you want to be smooth, you want to have that baby, you know, skin when you touch your hand, you touch your, you know, you want to extra, extra. Then this is, this is this right here. And Avino, those two so far, because I tried Vaseline, I tried all other products, whatever, bodies, uh, body creams and body lotions. And when, when I go out, I do have other body cut, you know, and some fancy other stuff that I use. But every day, this is my everyday, honey. This is every day. And it has vitamin C, E, and B5. It's a 40 hour, 40 hour moisturizer, repairs and nourishes. So ladies, for those who always ask me what I use on my skin, now you have it, okay? Feel free to get it yourself as well. And let's all be glowy. Let's all look good together, feel good together. I mean, in and out, okay? Holistically, like let's grow spiritually. You know, let's be like, when it comes to the spirit, your spirit is filled with goodness, God's goodness. And your intellectual as well is, we're gonna talk about books next time. And then your body, your, you know? So I won't lie to you guys, like, I have been a little bit I've been procrastinating my workouts, okay? So I don't know. Yo, pray for your girl. Pray for me. But we started this week with a hike. So tomorrow we're gonna do something different. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do with um, my toner. So I usually have one cotton, um, and then I just put a little bit right here. You can also use your fingers, but I just prefer to use the cotton. So every time you use your toner, make sure you are going sideways upwards on your forehead never go like this don't ever bring your face down like this because you you are literally pushing your face down so you have to go against the graffiti and always use your toner on your chin because that's the, the I mean that's the one that one place that even when we wash our face sometimes we tend to not remove you know wash that area very well so that we can remove all the dirt you see why it's so good to use toner because look look there's always something left even though you wash your face how many times there's always something left on the on your face so <sighs> oh my god what is that so which is why I think this uh, pad, these pads from Retrouvé are so like good uh, because you know it's going to definitely take everything off like you wash your face but then you think after washing your face your face is clean but hmm, there's always something stubborn that wants to stay on your face. So every time, guys, by the way, you know I'm an esthetician, right? I'm a licensed esthetician. So when I'm talking about skin stuff, skin care, um, I'm not just talking about skin care. But when I'm talking about makeup, I'm not talking just to talk, you know? I went to school for this stuff. Like, I understand what, you know, what the skin needs and what the skin doesn't need, what we need to do on our skin and what we do not need to do. Um, 
So yeah. That's why I can speak about this confidently. And then remember, you can do some on your neck as well. Oh my God, this is good. Taking care of your skin is essential, ladies. Please take care of your skin, it's so important. Uh, and don't just use products, good product, but make sure what you're taking too is very important. Like make sure you have a good diet as well. What you eat shows your skin as well. And you can always go under your eye. Just a little bit. Not inside your eyes, just around it. Because sometimes any mascara just in case. So for me by nature, I think it's something that most East Africans do have um, or wanted women, we always have around our eyes dark dark circles. It's not like dark circles, but my eyes are more, I guess I have like almond eyes, so they're just, the way they're shaped. Yep, so I'm done with this. Now I'm gonna go over with my serum. So there you have it guys, I am done with my skincare routine for the night. Um, so right now what I'm about to do is I'm probably gonna brush, obviously I'm gonna brush my teeth and then go and pray and then go to bed. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all next time. Mwah!